Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... They found a new planet. It's two planets in one. Man, it is a busy weekend here at Thor News. Seems like a new story has come out on all my favorite topics. Whether that be planets, whether that be stars, the sun, red giants, brown dwarves, gas giants, Ceres, asteroids, comets, and also planets. It's one of my favorite storylines. The story is about that we cover over and over again. Scientists find something that disproves a previous scientific theory, pretty much. Scientists have discovered a planet they thought was impossible by Leslie Bear. Is that a white star? A giant planet? Mini brown dwarf? Or is that a moon? Or is that just a giant pixel? Or is it a charged proton? The Godzilla of Earth is in the foreground, and behind it, the smaller lava world. I bet girls on lava world are hot. Their sun, wait, they don't have a sun, they have a star. Their sun in the back appears to have been created only three billion years after the Big Bang. Let me tell you guys something, science. You don't have to keep dating every single thing you find, you know? You're almost like a dog peeing on a tree. It's like you find a new planet, new star, new black hole, new quasar. You're like, yes, and it is approximately three billion years old. I'm like, oh yeah, really? That's fascinating. Can I see a photograph? And science is like, no, you cannot. I'm like, then, yeah, okay. So can you just stop peeing on my tree? Anyway, based on what we know about how solar systems form, researchers thought a giant rocky planet could not exist. But they just found one that is 17 times Earth's mass. They're calling it Mega Earth. And hey, my entire Thor News channel is based on what we know about how solar systems form, which seems flawed, to say the least. Scientists say the new planet may have profound implication for the possibility of life on extrasolar planets. According to a press release from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, they announced a finding in a talk at the American Astronomical Society meeting in Boston. Hey, how come I don't ever get invited to any of those meetings? Does not a single person in science or government have a decent sense of humor? Really? Okay. Profound implications for the possibility of life on extrasolar planets. Extrasolar meaning around any other star than our sun. And if you are following this step-by-step -step scientific process of release and inform, a new trending theme we have at Thor News is that they will announce life sometime by the very end of 2015. That's my gut feeling. Oh, wait, great. Researchers have always thought mega-Earths were impossible since any planets that big would attract hydrogen gas, forming a gas planet like Jupiter. See? Like, the sun has babies. Stars have babies. They create planets. And then stars get married. And then they die and they're reborn. And repeat the cycle. And yeah, it changed color, shape, and form. Meet the mega Earth, the Godzilla, the Godzilla planet that will one day may grow to be like us, the Ultraman of planets, if Ultraman was a capitalist douchebag. Mega Earth, also known as Kepler 10c, is 18,000 miles in diameter and 2.3 times as large as the Earth. It appears to be as solid as the planet beneath our feet. Can I see a photograph? Haha, <laughs> okay, I'll go on. Kepler 10 was previously known to astronomers, but they had not measured its mass. Remember, mass is not weight, dude. Due to its size, 2.3 times that of Earth, it was assumed to be a mini Neptune. A planet encased in thick glass. I mean, a planet encased in thick gas. A planet encased in thick glass would have been cooler. Would have been a lot cooler if you did. But the new observations have confirmed that it is rocky, not gassy. I definitely think names are important because remember the movie Rocky? Where he's a boxer and becomes the best after starting out talking funny? Those movies would not have been as popular or as inspiring if they were called Gassy. Gassy 1, Gassy 2. Yeah, we don't know a whole ton about gas giants, man. Okay, let's compare it to sex. It's like if you can't land on the planet, can't explore the planet like Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, can't even get into its atmosphere, it's the same as sex. And you're like, yeah, she's amazing in bed and I know everything about her lovemaking style. Like, wow, really? How many times did you make love to her? And then the scientist is like, well, never, but I did take some photographs. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much can you really know from a photograph? Millions and billions of miles away. I'm just curious. It orbits an 11 billion year old star named Kepler 10, located 560 light years away from Earth. It lasts only 45 days. Oh, I mean, its year lasts only 45 days. Interestingly, this solar system is more than twice as old as our own. 
Here you go again. It was born less than 3 billion years ago after the Big Bang. All right, I'm getting tired of you guys mentioning the Big Bang. Like, why? Why does it got to be in every freaking article? I mean, Christians don't always refer to Genesis like, yeah, did you meet Frank? You know, remember? He's like, he's like 7,000 years from the Genesis point. Wait, I don't think that joke worked. We were very surprised when we realized what we had found. Kind of like being a cashier at a grocery store. And your manager's like, hey, your drawer's missing $200. You'd be like, I'm very surprised when I realized that you had found my drawer missing $200. Says study researcher Xavier Dumusk of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He said that in a press release. I got a tie from Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, I believe. It's got F-16s on it. It's really cool. I think it's my favorite tie. It's a gift. We've always thought a rocky planet is the best place to look for life. Since life on a gas giant is hard to imagine from what they've observed, the planet may also have an atmosphere. Whip. What? I didn't get the next part? Crap. We'll never know. A mysterious system. Researchers had previously thought that this kind of planet was impossible. Impossible! But Thor News never thought this kind of planet was impossible. In this universe, all things are possible. Sweet. Back to the story at hand. Not only did they think something that big would be a gas giant, but they didn't even think the elements that make up a rocky planet existed in our universe when the solar system was born. Yeah, so the Big Bang Theory just changed. Again? It's best to not say that anyone knows definitively what happened 5,000 years ago or 5 billion years ago. Because nobody knows, dude. Okay, not only did they think something that big would be a gas giant, but they didn't even think the elements that make up a rocky planet existed in our universe when the solar system was born. The early universe had only the lighter elements of hydrogen and helium. Yeah, see, they don't make no sense, you know? Like, it's kind of like a chain of evolution created the chain of elements. Uh, you know, maybe the universe has always been here. Maybe not. Heavier elements were forged from these lighter ones in stars over billions of years. See, I think planets are forged in stars. Elements too, but both. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Because of this, many scientists hadn't been looking for rocky planets in these very old solar systems. Finding Kepler 10c tells us that rocky planets could form much earlier than we thought. And if you can make rocks, you can make life. That's a weird sentence. If you can make rocks, you can make life. And if you can make rock and roll, you can make life twice as nice. 